Welcome to Keysight Education Portal. Today, we will be discussing the test result for Keysight Pathway of Manufacturing Analytics. Clicking on Digital Quality. Go to Test Result. Select Company. Select Site. Select Project. Select Version. Select Tester. Choose the starting date and ending date of the data to be reviewed test results. Click on Go. Summary table shows several useful information. In this case, there are 683 unique boards, tested in Project 003. Since some boards have been tested multiple time, the gross total volume is more than total volume, which represents the total amount of testing times. The first pass yield of 67.5% is derived by first pass volume over gross total volume. The final yield of 90.48% is derived by final pass volume over gross total volume. The Project 003 uses the in-circuit tester 001 for test equipment. There are two test fixtures, one is fixture 03 and the other is fixture 08. All tests spent two days to finish. Let's move to the second part. We see that the volume and yield of equipment, in-circuit tester 003, and split per fixtures, fixture 03 and fixture 08, form two histogram graphs. We see fixture 08 has a better performance on testing with a higher pass yield. Next, let's move to the third part, test time distribution. This shows time taken to complete the test run. Maximum, minimum, median, upper and lower quartile time distribution. If there are multiple equipments, more distribution charts will be displayed. Next part displays a breakdown of first fails final disposition. Meaning, when a device under test first failed, what is the failure type and final disposition of it? This specifies if the device under test finally passed or failed in another test type and remained failing in same test type. The histogram displays the list of first fails test type. When we mouse over each point, we see the final disposition of each test type. For example, the retest rate of failed analog test is 70%. Around 28% failed for analog test again and there is one single test that failed for pre-shorts test. Based on the chart, we see failed pre-shorts test are very likely pass again upon retest, 70%. Let's move to the last chart. The featured test result provides the failure count by test type that are categorized by fixture. By clicking on that, we can see for component capacitor, mouse over each point, there are five failures that occurred in fixture 03 one failure that occurred in fixture 08. Therefore, based on the failure count information, it is clearly to find out the component issues and fix them manually. Moreover, the failure count can be classified by test names, by clicking on filter by worst test name. Mouse over each point, to see the failure count of each single test.